Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is a Monday, it's not Monday, we had a holiday weekend here. Today is Tuesday, it is Tuesday. And we got everybody here. They're all hanging up outside, I don't know why. It's happening! Today, we are back to the swing of it, and you guys, I don't know if you guys know this, but it is show week. Gabby, do you know what today is? Do you know what this week is? Do you know what this week is? Yeah, show week. That means a lot. So we have to pack up our tack trunk, prepare our horse, whoops, prepare our horse, Wow, it still looks nice and clean out here. I love summer, you guys. A little bit of carrots here for our horses. What? The carrots look stupid. <laughs> Gabby says the carrots look stupid. Do you guys yeah. remember? I don't know what's gonna happen. Do you remember being a teenager yeah, and what's gonna happen? Grace is gonna run around like Psycho. Oh, okay, so tell them, Willis Sophie. Just rub her head tell them what is happening today, I'm Sophie. Sophie. Just silly Sophie, tell them what's happening. Um. Today, today is the first day. I mean, Willow reaches her head through the Do fence and eats garhouse. Um, there's no flies yet. It's windy and cool. But Penny, oh my goodness, you guys been clean. pooping in the arena. Is she clean? She's mad. Why are you so mad? Hey, it might be heat week. Sophie, how do you, how can you tell? Willows, pennies, Gracies. Oh. <laughs> what are you trying to say? In order of importance in your heart? Uh, in order oh, I need of one too. Person, Wait, which one is mine? Oh, this one. All right, so today is the day. It's true. Okay, how did the tarp get way over there, Penny Pickle? Hmm. Do you guys think Penny pushed the tarp? She's like, take me. Just put that thing on my nose. I'm not gonna lie. The horses are like, listen, we've been stuck in here for a whole weekend with not much to do because normally we'd play with them. We were busy, Penny. Like, it was a party <laughs> and no power. Just be glad. Oh, uh, no, come on. All right. God. We gotta plug in the fence and fill the water trough. Gracie, I'm disappointed. Go, go for a run. Go, go. <laughs> so anyways, it's the first day. It's a bit early still. But they're happy. <laughs> I thought we'd get a show at least. Penny was practically dragging me here. I can feel it transferring through the thing. Okay, this try it on the other side then. Try on the other side. Try over there to see if that fence works. Here. See? You know what? I had to do this. I had to put my hand on it. All on that Because it didn't work. It only worked on the one row. I'm feeling Grab it with your hand then. Mm -hmm. Sam went along the other day and cut all the grass underneath the fence. You can see it all along there. I think you were just feeling the fence. So we have not filled our water up yet this year at all outside. So Sophie's going to scrub this bucket. There's no She's going to scrub this bucket and we're going to fill it all up. No She's going to scrub this one, get it all cleaned up. Scrubbing water buckets is kind of satisfying. It kind of looks like this. Gabby says this looks like barf. The only grass that Sam didn't cut down was this section right here. And there's a big thorn bush in there. I'm gonna go get my my clippers that I got for Mother's Day and get rid of that right now. So we have to clean the trailer, cut the grass, clean the tack trunk, pack the tack trunk. And that is like already such a massive job. And we haven't even talked about horses yet. What we have to do with the horses. But I kinda need a word Well, I'm into you And all I know It's been a long time I was on the sideline Waiting for you We could go to California Or anywhere you wanna Oh, it looks good, Sophie So good, good job Yeah She had to scrub and scrub and scrub I scrubbed for five minutes 
and I went to get the hose and stuff working. And I came back and I started working. Yeah, it's so nice when your kids get to the age where they're like really able to carry some of the weight of the chores and the and all that stuff and Sophie's really come a long way just in this journey with Chance like losing Finn changed Sophie getting Chance changed Sophie do you have any ideas on how he changed you I don't know but I do you feel changed no. she's grown up a lot so the horses are only getting 30 minutes today on grass and then they'll be back in their winter paddock their dry lot paddock till they uh, with some hay until they slowly build up. Right, Penny Pickle? She's like, nope, nope, not me. I'm not going. <laughs> I'm staying here for the rest of my life, Laura. It's been such a crazy long weekend. Like, it's amazing. Sometimes it feels like you've lived an entire year in such a short amount of time and you do so much and you're so busy. And I love chaos and I love, and I thrive on like being Hurry busy. Up. Since we've become horse owners, we make changes and we do things a little bit differently. We are learning all the time and changing and learning from other friends that have horses. And Sam is gonna be cutting all this area. There's actually a lot of hay over here in this section, like all the way back to the fence line to the road. There's a lot of hay there. We're gonna use this to feed the horses. And, and we decided this year no that we are going to put the horses out differently. Like you yeah, guys saw. I had to go back you guys saw that we tried to manage their weight and manage their health by putting their putting them on the grass for so many hours each day I think we got up to like six hours a day or something and then we brought them in and this year we're gonna do it differently we're gonna do like a few hours in the morning and then we're gonna do a few hours in the evening so we're instead of um, doing it all one big chunk because I know last year they always came in off the field so bloated and so like dead and ready for a nap and this year we're going to try and do it a little bit differently we're going to do a few hours in the morning and we're going to do a few hours in the evening so that it kind of breaks it up and is more enjoyable for them i think but the first day is never the easiest day to get them out of the field but i think i have carrots in my bra here pen look i got a carrot for you look yeah ouch here that's a girl yeah you know I caught my pony. I just have to put the halter on. Uh oh. <laughs> now they're like I'm not chasing no ponies so the plan is for me to take Miss Penny out and then the ponies will come Penny was perfect you guys obedient perfect well behaved I mean I don't think it'll last we could go to California or anywhere you want We are doing it. Do you guys remember how hard it was for us to catch our horses when we first got horses? Sometimes I just watch old videos and remember how much fun it was. And even though it was really hard to catch our ponies, it was literally the most fun we ever had. Watching the kids fall over in the mud, trying to catch their horses, that was fun. I'm trying to remember to keep this all organized. Having this arena makes it amazing in the summer when it's so super hot we can open both big huge doors the horses have someplace cool they can go and get out of the sun get away from the food and calm down and and still be outside and that is what we ended up using it for
apparently that big huge thing that the horse eats is scary. <laughs> he walked past the big huge shelter that's brand new and didn't care. Come on, handsome. Every time he goes by this section, he gets stuck, as she says. Sophie says it's like he I totally can see what he's saying. He's looking back at his at his field mate saying, I'm waiting for you. Chino's coming. Good boy. She's so super patient with him. Hello, kitty cat. You enjoying your life here in the barn all by yourself? He's like, no, I wasn't waiting for you. All right, we got it going on. Here he comes. Here they come. <laughs> red and red. <laughs> you be looking pretty quiet and calm. You can stop staring away from someone. Yeah, he's like, I don't want to go without my friend. I think that's the beginning of his herd boundness. He's licking and chewing. In the comments suggested that we use our flag when lunging uh, Chance because you guys saw Chance doesn't care about anything. We brought this one and then we also brought our Virtue Soap. It's Citronella Lavender and so it's gonna be even good for bugs. So we brought that, that's for like this week for horse show. Oh, I don't see Gabby coming yet unless she's wearing red. If she's wearing red, then I see her. Gabby's still not coming. It always makes me ner nervous. Oh, I see her. <laughs> I see her. Every time I'm like, I'm going to get her. At this barn, they have um, dry lots. I guess that's what you call it. Hi. They have dry lots, but then they also have they have they also have like grass turnout. There's turnout over there. There's turnout here. There's turnout over there. And then back behind where Chino is, there's more turnout down there. So these guys are on dry lots during the winter, like a winter paddock, like what we have. And then they also have summer turnout in the summer which is funny because our horses are out today on grass and these horses are out today on grass the only field that doesn't have whoa turnout are the ponies <laughs> the tiny ponies they're the only ones that are in a field that doesn't back on to grass the inside of the ears being touched i think it tickles them yeah i think it tickles them when you touch the inside of the ears that's what's so good like so when they're young Oh, I think he likes it. Look at his lip. He's the master of the loose lips. Oh, Chance is wearing a dark blue today and it looks really cute on him. Gabby's wearing traditional gray because you have a boring owner, Gino. I'm sorry to say it. So, already I noticed a difference from his massage therapy. Sophie says she notices a difference in him too. She said he, he seems more free. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I do notice a difference. Like, before... He didn't stand that good while she got on. And now he was like, yeah, do whatever you want. I don't care. Like, get on. That's fine. No problem. He feels less, less stiff. He feels less stiff, she says. She says he's, like, more relaxed. Like, he's not holding himself together the same. Anyway, so we're riding inside, and then we're going to go ride outside with Gabby. We're just waiting for Gabby to finish up. And then we're going to go uh, ride outside with Gabby. crazy you guys. I'm so proud about making their feet all better. I'm so proud about making their feet all better. So this guy was getting like, well you can kind of see it, he was getting like little cracks here because his feet were so dry. And then, oops, I know like I have to put oil on there 
hoof ointment on there but I was reading up on the hoof ointment and the hoof ointment a lot of it's really drying so I didn't want to just like use so you can see where it's dry there I didn't want to just use any hoof ointment so I used that so I used that pine tar on his feet and it's literally been a week and already like all the chips are gone well the back foot still has does it like they look so much better with the pine tar and so my friend was telling me that it's a vet that when you use pine tar you put it up here like I showed you guys and you let it run down and then when it dries out that's when you know to put it on again so I'm gonna go in and treat and so I'm gonna go in and treat his feet again to keep them from cracking but they're like getting not they're they're I'm proud of me you guys horses are hard like there's never it's Horses are never ending. There's always stuff to like fix and, and work on. And anyway, the girls rode, had a good ride. I didn't film a lot of it because we were just enjoying, enjoying each other. Like Sophie's really enjoying having this horse and this journey with him. You forgot to crack your knee? Yeah. I forgot to crack my knuckles. Oh crap, ponies. I don't think he'll be okay. So we have a plan. Just riding our horses like usual. Like we're not riding any extra. We're not riding Chino any extra this week. She'll probably ride Gray Finn tomorrow, and then Chino, and then Chino on Thursday or Friday. Then it's show time, you guys. Gabby, you got to trim his hair and everything. You threw a whole apple in the chicken coop and it's been eaten. <laughs> They're loving it. But look at I got this little wagon. It's so cute. It needs to be cleaned. Hold on, I can clean it. It was in somebody's shed. And it's collapsible. And Sophie's like, it's everything I always wanted. This is gonna be you guys know what this is for, right? Sam found it for me. Uh -oh. On It's very easy to collapse. Online. Well you gotta here, <laughs> let me help you. <laughs> it's gonna be for grain and beet pulp. Don't you know that you're beautiful?